You sure this guy spoke to you in Italian? <laughs> Scusi, signorini, mi dispiace. You spend enough time with Rose D'Angelo, you know Italian when you hear it. Do you know if Lily and Holden have arrived yet at the wedding? They were there. And their son? Luke, sure. You know, Missy, maybe I will show up at the wedding after all. Really? You know, you're gonna have to change. I mean, you know Lucinda. Right, right. I'll, I'll meet you there. You sure? Missy, don't tell anybody about this Italian waiter, okay? Oh, Nate! <gasps> and I got T minus two minutes to get dressed. <laughs> ah, youth was mine. Ah, well. Oh. Matthew, I dare you to tell me what's on my mind. I'll bet you were hoping I might know where Miss Rose is. Right. Well, do you? Where is she? Right behind you, madam. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. What do you think? Oh, darling. Oh, you look wonderful. This is so, so oh, sweetheart. Is this the influence of Paul Ryan? If it is, I say hallelujah. Oh, no, this has nothing to do with Paul Ryan. I just wanted to show you that I could be classy when I wanted to be. There was never any doubt of that. Really? <laughs> Come on. Well, Matthew, what do you think? Should we tell this young lady that there's a young man chomping at the bit in the garden called Paul Ryan who wants to speak to her? Yes. Yes, he's there and he's waiting. He's waiting for you. Okay. Uh, well, if you excuse me, I need to pop out to the garden. Yes, pop along, oh. Pop, pop, pop. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Just, yeah, they're fine. I just wanted to talk to you just for one, just one second. Thanks, Kim. My pleasure. Carly, it's okay. Thank you. Is everything okay? This is a lot harder than, than I expected. I... I miss my daughter. Oh, Donna. Oh. If you have to leave, I totally understand. No, it's okay. I was just... Wondering, though, if you had come up with something borrowed. No, not yet. Because I was thinking maybe if, if you liked that you could... That you could borrow me. I, you know, I could be your mother for the day. And you could yell at me or, or cry on my shoulder or something. I always have a lot of tissue, God knows. And, and I could... Just, I could hold your shoes or your bag or that silly penny that you're talking about. What do you think? Oh, I think that I am so lucky. All right, we're off and running. sitting next to a man in the fashion business. Look at that neckline. That color is beautiful. Sure you're not talking about the model? Hmm? The gown is amazing. The 
girl next to you is wearing a gown, too. Before or after the I do's? Excuse me. Wait, whoa, 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 no, no, don't. Rose, what a particularly lovely dress. Thank you. At least somebody noticed. Dear friends, this is an especially happy occasion. We are here to celebrate the union of Molly Conlon and Jake McKinnon, two people who thought that their last chance at true love had passed them by. But fate decided differently, and here they are today to join in holy matrimony. Now, to begin this joyous ceremony, Ms. Abigail Williams will sing. sacred union, not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently and soberly. If anyone can show just cause why this man and this woman should not be joined together in holy matrimony, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Member of the staff. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an announcement. No, 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 no. Until we know more, there's no point in alarming the guest and upsetting the wedding. You don't understand. Forget the wedding. No, Cancel the we wedding. We need to start from the ground up. Okay? No. We need to get all of the staff members together and make sure Why there are no mean? imposters. Jake and Molly would like to share their thoughts with you about this special day. <laughs> I guess we're all here. Uh, Molly and I will always remember this day. Uh, not only because we're getting married, but because becoming a family. So we take these vows not only for ourselves, but for our children. Yeah. Abigail has a, a wonderful father in Holden who has become a good friend. Great adoptive parents, Diana and uh, Mitchell Williams, who love you every bit as much as we do. And they hold a special place in your heart, and I'll always respect that. I want you to know, you know that I'm going to be the first one in line so that if you, my daughter, ever needs anything, I'll, I'll be there for you. Abigail, you're your own person, just like your beautiful mother. And I will always cherish that. Donna, Marley, Dick. When I look at Michelle and Bridget's faces, I see so much of Vicky in them. They have so much of her amazing spirit. And I promise always to be the carrier of the flame. It is my privilege and my joy to be their ever-loving second mommy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 